I'm in so deep. Then I barely know how to play. Ah. <laughs> Professor X at it best. There comes a time in every man's life where he must take a stand. For the truth, the people, and the movement. There has not been a movement where the leader has not suffered for the cause. Fahrenheit hour. First degree of day is. 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 Fahrenheit hour. Radio.com. Superior of Fahrenheit schlumpage. Long with OG Fahrenheit perspective, you feel right. Let me be the first to welcome you to the basement. Die. Welcome to the Fahrenheit Hour talk show. If you in on this, you in on a treat tonight. You in on a treat tonight. We got who I consider the greatest rap producer that's ever touched the keys. I'm going to stop right there. We've got the greatest rap producer that's ever touched the keys, and I'm gonna explain why I'm saying that. First of all, we're talking about the funk beta. Who you know in the rap game that's produced over the years that's could go in the booth, go in the lab by themselves, make a rap hit, R&B hit, jazz hit. By themselves. You know, you can mention some of the names from over the years, like Dre and all uh, the Whippy Whams and the Nifty Knots, but they are, uh, is they so diverse that they can change genres. And I know it's pronounced genres, but here at Fahrenheit Slangs, we can pronounce it genres. Yeah. And that reminds me, well, let me bring him in first. We got the legendary Funk Beta. On the program tonight, Funkster. What's up? How you doing? Doing okay. Trying to maintain. Same bullshit, different toilet with no motherfucking toilet paper. That's Damn it! <laughs> How you learn to play them keys that way, man? Let's just cut to the chase. Yeah, I, I can't remember when I first touched the piano. I think I was probably like three, four, maybe. And it's been my, it's been my love ever since. <laughs> I, I love that Okay, I can understand that. Now, there's a lot of people that love music, but where does your style and soul come from? That's not just love for music. It's coming from, it's something that's coming from something. Basically, it's coming from, my style is coming from jazz. A lot of people who, who I've met over the years uh, play the piano and all that stuff, you, you come out of church. Yeah. But in my case of scenario, I, I, I started playing a lot of jazz music at the age of seven and eight, trying to mimic a lot of these people out here. Like who? So, like McCoy Tyner, it's uh, uh, John Coltrane's uh, a piano player. Mm. And back in them days, um, if you played out of Miles Davis, which McCoy Tyner did, and John Coltrane, he's he, he pretty one of the best in the world. Wow. So I try to mimic a lot of these people who, who has flavor on the keys. And by doing that, I end up coming with my own style. Mm. Well, when, so. I also want to, okay, let me ask you this. When you're playing live, how do you know what to play? Because I play, I produce too. I'm, the, I, you know, I'm letting the people in on some backdoor producer talk. And I produce too, yeah. but like me, I do sequences and but Beta would play live. When we first started hooking up with the Death Trap days, Beta would do each track live. And I used to, I've yep. always wondered, where does it, how do you know what to play live? Oh, shit. It's uh, just knowing the notes and knowing the keys and, and, and knowing where you're at in the music. Um, I've, I've got an ear, is what my teacher used to tell me. I have an ear and I usually can pick up on certain things people play depending on actually it really doesn't depend on what notes you play I figure it out in a second 
like I have a, a bass player with me and him. It's the East Thunder Gang. A shout out to Ryan Riel. All right. Um. Well, what we do is we try to um, come across our own type of flavor in the music with live instruments. No rap has nothing to do with rap. But my first love is jazz. A lot of people don't know that. It's just yeah. rap is what pays. Yeah. Feels right now. Yeah. That's what I got to do. First degree to D. Nigga moves come through sometimes. From the Robo League. Gangsta Lex is my speciality. My name is First Degree the DE. Southside, um, I'm a street banger. But at the same time, so I'm an educator. And there's a little part of me that is and always gonna be a nigga. Last minutes of that. Actions of sympathy. Doing things my way for a minute. You know what I done learned it? Nigga moves come through sometimes. Nigga moves come through sometimes. Nigga moves come through sometimes. Where I'm going with this. You match with the man that I can loud and it. Turpin at the mall. Them going by the name of the D. Nigga street tyrant, itching to make an example. Riding heavy with the chrome and nine beach hammer. From the boots we purge, rubbed on too high. Girl, these get nuts when I pop my shot. She at the schoolhouse, so A's and B's, yes, and Latinas. Requesting knees, fast food vice habits, credit that's atrocious. Joint by front of black girls, looking bladocious. This yo dice, I think, gon' stop. Stick them with triple drop. Well, the time to open nigga move. Proof ain't no stopping me. Day before foreclosure auction, taking my property. Nigga moves come through sometimes. Is you feeling my paragraph? Nigga moves come through sometimes. Nigga moves come through sometimes. Upon my command, come through this rest. Nigga moves come through sometimes. So much more crouch, still. ready to pouch, delicious piece for louse. Like it when I win bounce, make the crowd crouch. Nigga move, come up sometimes. Got this, you want girl, dig up under her dress. Then give me a peek, I am impressed. Upon my command, present your breast. Nigga move sometimes, you receive my vent. Mm, I can never win your establishment. Yeah, you probably right. I'm late on my bill, yet to call me D. You drop all eight fees. Dark side of D is real. I must confess, victim silent, charges ain't deep press. My nigga of charm got the young piece flattered. Slipped on my record, that's when I'm had her. Had her on the platter. Nigga moves come through sometimes. You see what I'm coming with? Nigga moves come through sometimes. Drink. 
just get hilly. It's a psychedelic spoof. Uh, that was first read of the D.E. Turn out Johnny Mad got a whole nigga move from flute some for the nigga you feel. And um, I used to always know how to play the ivory. Uh, and um, the brother Lynch taught me how to program drum beats and, and, and put it all together. Yeah, I was thinking about the back in the days and when we was all. Man, those are good times. I was thinking about like the Death Trap days and Delvin's Garage and even those early Lynch days, like playing Doom and yep. you was making beats. And, damn. Well, Delvin never let me play where I wanted to play. Oh, he that's always a mistake. wanted me to play what he wanted to play. That's a um, mistake. No one can tell you what to play. No one has that right. Well, they can he, make a well, suggestion. I know. I know. That's the reason why when I went to Lynch, he just fucking took the leash off and had me just go ahead and, and then came loaded could you did yeah, you know could loaded. you have imagined when we was making that album that it would still be 20 some 20 years later we still be popping people still talking about it still talking about it I, they talk about it every day to me especially on Facebook Damn. talk to me about how that season and um Loaded is probably one of Two Lynch's best albums in his career. Yeah, definitely. And I'm and I feel blessed to be part of the Loaded. I kind of missed the season. I only probably did like a track or two on that. But he blessed me by putting me on Loaded album, so that all worked out. I didn't even know what we was doing back then. You know what I mean? Yeah. Make and that's that's the thing. That's and that's why that shows a lot in our music if you love it. Yeah. You know what I mean? So. I lost a lot of love on it because, uh, you know, black market and doing strikes and whatnot. So mm. I lost a, that took a lot of love out of it. I'm still, I'm now I'm getting the love back from my. I'm way better than I was back then. Oh yeah. I most don't know. Oh yeah. Uh, way better. I could sit and watch you play for hours, but that's what. But as far as now, that's why what we're doing now is so important. It's even more important. Now is important. Because even what we're doing right now in the fair, ah, this will be around. When we when we in the booth and when you touching the keys, that's shit that's gonna last beyond our lives for generations. And that's why it's so important to document what's getting dead right now. Like for, for you, you coming with Simplex two and three. I listen oh, to. Oh shit! I, 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 I mean, just done. I just almost. Done with four too, by the way. Oh, well, go ahead. The Simplex series, man. I just that's what I listen to. It had to be made because it just had to be made. And you hear folks are talking about his background. That's why the folk, the whole jazz, the complex world of funk beta jazz is so important to people. Because it's a whole nut. We need you are the only man that's gonna get jazz popular again in the mainstream. You're the only one who can bring it to the rap world. I tell you that all the time. Yeah, you do. You know, yeah, you I, I look, look at your talent, but then I also look at your position in the game. Your position in the game. You have you're known to the rap people, and but you know the importance of jazz. So you are one of the yep. most influential people in the game. Well, I appreciate that, man. I, you know, I try. I try. And now it's all about moving forward. Mm -hmm. Are you? No, the the no. Reloaded album is full speed ahead. Oh, yeah. You know, we can't do it without you. We ain't care about what we talk about. I'm in. I'm in. I do anything you need me to do. You already know that. I tell you that all the time. Yeah. And B-Dub, we got him too. He was just here yesterday. Uh, who else so should be working? Who else should be working with? Because Beta's like a people person, unlike myself. So I'm sure you got a lot of people you working with. Funk Beta, the plunger, on the Simplex Two album.
Flex 2 album. I'm working on um, helping Brown Sugar uh, eight ball with bass stuff right now. Uh, um, and this D Dub, D Dub Me Lou, helped with his album. So me and him came together and said, I'm working on his album. But yesterday when he came over, we decided to make a beat. I decided to make a beat, him do the hook, and keep the beat. Make some scraps out of it. Yeah, I you be selling beats. Uh, I just put it on my Facebook like an hour ago. Yeah. So I might check that out. And other beats you sell and they can go on your reverb. How do they find that? It's a link that I put on my Facebook. Well, people who don't social media eyes. Like, what's this? It's just, we, can they search reverb funk beta and then go there? Yeah, it's reverb.com slash funk beta. Okay. Reverbnation.com slash funk beta. What is the response you got from the first Simplex album? Because that's like the reason that matters so much is because that's the first time any rap producer has changed genres like that. So I'm curious what your fans thought. Well, I didn't even know it was that good. It was a rough job on the first one. I didn't know it would ever turn out that good, but people liked it. I and mean, I was shocked. Damn. I done that album could have been a lot, lot better than how it was. Damn. So I was much impressed how people would say loved it, man. It just kind of, kind of me out and stuff. Yeah, I love it too, man. I absolutely love it. It's worthy of a whole series. It just, just series. That's why I'm glad to hear you working on four, finishing that up. It's worth a whole series. That important to the game? Because Fahrenheit, man, we see the game. How the game is. The game is watered down now, and so we complaining yeah. about it. It's one thing to complain about it. The next step is go ahead and getting in the booth. Getting in the lab and recorrecting shit. So that's what we're trying to do, and that's why it start. If you go on the Fahrenheit Crew page, Funk Beta is at the top because the music is so important. Beats is more important than rappers. Let me just put that out there. How many rappers you know came with a hit album with a certain good producer or whatever, and then they leave the producer, come out with another album, and it sounds like trash? Many people do that. Many, many. people. It's because the beats are more important. Yep, I agree with you on that, because it's the beats what people catch the ear for. They hear the beat first before they even pay attention to any lyrics or anything. Exactly. Like the beat has to be bumping for them to even catch their ear. Exactly. Once you got that ear, that's that ad. Exactly. And it's even if it's a good lyrics lyricist, if the beat is trash, I still I don't want to hear it. Yeah, that's how I am. You know what Dr. Dre said? It takes only 30 seconds to know if you like the beat or not. Oh, yeah. I heard it was just like that's, a few seconds, like five seconds. Yeah. Yeah, like the intro. That's probably like 30 seconds. Okay. So that's, the only, that's the only knowledge I took from Dre. If, if the beat's knocking and if, if it has you bobbing in 30 seconds, it's a pretty good beat. Yeah. So I try to... uh make sure it don't get boring in the beginning but I, I have to switch a lot of things up you know maybe i start with the drum sometime or maybe i start with the bass line or whatever uh whatever i'm in mood for at that time like the beat i made that dw the hook for yeah i think i started the drums for yeah so. you good with drums and that's the that's the core of the beat is the drums yep have yeah, links thing for that. Oh yeah. But I'm just yeah, I'm just a piano player. You know what I mean? So. Do you remember when you used to have to make this is before se sequencers when you used to have to play each track live? I didn't have to play it like that, but I'm that's how I learned how to play it live. Music. Oh, you okay. did. Like like I have you me on the piano or somebody on the trumpet or someone on the bass. So on, so on and so forth. That's what I'm used to. And that's why I was playing a lot of that stuff back in the day live. Yeah. Each Old track. Whole track. Damn. And I didn't even know what the fucking sequence was. Damn. <laughs> and the, it ended up stuff. sounding so good, though. Yeah. I, I, I still do it, you know, but I'm, I'm a lazy motherfucker. I, I like to 
take the lazy way out. It's these computers. It's the game is so much easier now. It makes us cut corners. Yep. I mean, even back in the day, we, me, you, and Lynch would get together, and the three of us would make one beat. Like we'd all touch, like the Blackula beat. We all rap yeah, on that, but we all produced that too. Everybody did like three or four tracks on it. Yeah. But now, yeah, that came out. That's one of your best selling albums. Yeah. It's t it's it's time. I think the people want time. You know, it's about <clears throat> it's about time, putting time in it. And by the time they get it, and they need to be stimulated to hear something they've never heard before. You know, yep, and, you, and, and you mentioned Dre, and you see how much money he's making and being successful by switching genres and doing different things, and that's what I see us doing. You know, because yep. rapping is the rap game is too easy for, for you now. It's just no challenge. You got and there's, no one's doing anything that's beyond what you can do. First degree to D E, right or wrong. Produced by Funk Beta. So many delusions. Walking the line between angels and trolls. <laughs> From LA to Seattle. West Coast popping the most. Where I most skedaddle. So criminal. I got message up front to get subliminal. Like pain got me out of my element. That's rap cheese, but I smell it. I was your secret midnight desire. Perched up in the tree, DE crushing tiger. We was one on one, fake to place. Now act out my belly, my head. Oblivion. My name must be known throughout civilian. My hell, when I'm living in hell, can only be resolved by the mass spell. You can't keep pace. I got my cleats laced for this power chase. I'm all in, conspiring in my darkest of cauldron. I've heard them say I'm bold in your face, cold, detached. Exploiting girls, rest is my billboard. How is it wrong? It's helping me settle more. on it. 
what you really did. Oh, 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 oh. Don't know the right and wrong. Lose my phone beta. So addicted to power. Oh, 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 oh. the jester album. Don't know the difference from right and wrong. But you, but you still need it in the rap game, though. You know, you still need it in the rap game. Every single. First degree album from Southbound to Fu Foe has a funk beta touch beat to it. At least a beat, but more than that, like a touch. Soul. Some kind of funk soul. That's how it need to be. So yeah. what what tell us about where did you grow up and where are you from and all that? Let the, let, let's let the people get to know you. Well, I was born in San Francisco. I, my dad was in the service when I was born. He's from New York. So I've been lot back and forth all my life. New York City. New York City here. So um I learned uh the keys when I was in New York. Oh, I didn't know that. Trying to trying to mimic a lot of these uh gas giants on the piano like Herbie Hancock. Thelonious. Thelonious tomorrow. Fucking uh, Count Basie. Oh yeah. A lot of these guys, a lot of these guys uh, started um, doing a future rap. A lot of these samples people did back in the eighties, like the James Brown, and Kirby Hancock, and all that stuff. Yeah. So, hey, I I remember being scared. I was young the first time I saw Rocket. But then I kept watching yep. it, and it was just like, man, that's how I see you. Uh, I see you as a Herbie Hancock. <laughs> Damn. So what's in your future? Yeah. When, it, when Are you ever going to put out a rap album again? Oh, yeah. I am. Everybody wants me to put out the Dark album, but little do people know the Dark album changed the name to Phenomenal. Wait, I oh, okay. But, um, I got, like, something to make, something uh making. It's called the containment unit. We're going to have a lot of new artists that need to be heard. A lot of tight young people. Yeah, the next generation. Yep. Mm. I'm having a whole bunch of people on that. So we'll just see how that turns out. It just had to stop, you know, from the I had to move and my drive crashed on me. Yeah, we still got to get that so, fixed. Yep, I'm going to get it fixed, though. So. I have to. It's the album. Everything's on it. Damn. You know what I mean? So, that, that's a must. What is your legacy? I have none. What do you want? I don't have to find what? A legacy? That's hard to say. I don't think I have one. To be honest with you. Well, what do you want it to be? In 200 years to, from now, what do you want them to I know? want to leave my future family something before I die. Yeah. The only way that will happen is through this music. Yes. The music will... I understand that perfectly. Um, so. Yeah, I do. I leave them something. Like right now, I'm teaching my son how to make make beats. Oh. So. Wow. You see how you see how that comes. Huh? Wow. Yeah, it's him. Speaking of the devil. <laughs> wow. Little mile. What's how old on? is he? He's nine. Dang. My daughter's 12. As far as your music leaving the legacy, that's why this new, one of the good things about this new digital era is those digital albums sell forever, you know? They don't take work. Like the stores have to, like I have my whole catalog, but the stores still have to order the CD for it to be in the store. With the digital, it's bypass all that. So that's why a good, a strong simplex like what you doing with these, man. The song, the song simplex three. Oh my god! 
That's in like my that? that's that's the t- top three Titus Funk beta beats I've ever heard. Simplex three people. It's on the Simplex Simplex three album. But these are the types of things that's gonna last forever. Royal Crown. Demons. From the Galoom album. that one song if we just do a folks dancing the jig on the video that one song can change the whole game it could get the rap audience appreciating jazz one thing for jazz though it'd be hard to bring it back it's importance with these computers did you make that song sequence on the computer with your machine uh, sequence? Yeah, did you? I'm sorry, didn't hear it. The Simplex 3, the song, did you make it uh, with the sequencer with your machine? Uh, I made it with the MP. Oh, uh, okay. So Jazz uh, still has hope. You can still make jazz music on a sequencer. Oh, yeah, most definitely. But I do a lot of my jazz stuff at Ryan's house because he has a, a live setup at his house for live instruments and stuff. So he just bought a drum. He don't even play drums. He got like three keyboards. He got uh, two Fender Rhodes electric keyboards. And 
he has the same drum machines I got. Yeah. So a lot, a lot, a lot of my live stuff, it will be coming from his house. Okay. I'm kind of jumping topics because I'm excited to have Funk Beta on the Fahrenheit Hour, Fahrenheit Hour, Fahrenheit Hour. But one thing I wanted to mention was some history so people know. Because when I see people on the internet, they think they know and they ain't know. But I done been producing with Funk Beta before y'all heard of a Brother Lynch. Before a Brother Lynch. Okay, Funk Beta was producing on the Death Trap movement. Me, BG, Young Joker, Funk Beta, yep. Dalvin Pipkins. Okay. And then, like he told you, he got in with Lynch and them, and then he brought me to Lynch. So just so y'all know, Funk Beta is the key. He's the glue to everything, pretty much, you know. And I will say about this about Beta, out of the Made Sick crew, he was one of the first ones that got to get that is everything together. Like outside music and just the whole life, it like got it together. This is the United Nations exclusive. United Nations pressure. See what y'all do to rap with the United Nations. They scared to be they so. You know what I'm saying? Like niggas don't think that people gonna accept them. This is the United Nations exclusive. Have at the United, I delivered my rhymes right And shake the paparazzi, try to stay out the limelight What's difficult to you is probably natural to us Collateral damage a must, sex casual plus The stress has got the best of me, I'm chasing the cream The whole time in my mind I was facing the dream The corner's like a stranger that I used to connect with I'm starving and robbing weaker niggas corrects it I'm silencing my weapons, got me feeling protected Until I pick the pin up, now I'm on some Macbeth shit You choose the bullet a blade Cause when the streets take a night off Niggas throw a parade And math be the type to gather every grenade And throw them right into the system Just to spark a brigade Cause this is what I'm thinking when I'm parked in the shade Sometimes I feel like catching a fade Little nigga It's a crazy life Through these days and nights Trying to keep it right Through the stress and trite Move steady, stay ready Cause pressure bust pipes it's a crazy life through these days and nights Trying to keep it right through the stress and drive Move steady, stay ready Why is that? Cause pressure bust pipes Damn, every day is stress So I'm feeling pressed I'm chasing my dreams, searching for success Trying to get right But my life is like a mess I'm so depressed But I gotta live And try to stay positive Keep my focus on the real and handle my biz Cause you know how it goes, it is what it is Trying to shine through the dark Always keep my head up and follow my heart A wise man once made those remarks So I always believe, so I can always overachieve If you really want something, it never comes to ease Had to learn the difference between wants and needs Down on my knees, begging God please Help me with the pressure, a blessing will be well received. I know patience is a virtue, so I stay humble, and that's true indeed. It's a crazy life, through these days and nights. Trying to keep it right, through the stress and trite. Move steady, stay ready, cause pressure bust pipes. It's a crazy life, through these days and nights. Trying to keep it right, through the stress and trite. Move steady, stay ready. Why is that? Cause pressure bust pipes, huh? Pipes. Like my man Razcat said, what I need a label for to press up some CDs? Yeah, right. And do that myself, partner. The major labels of the minor leagues now, we the new underground favorites. That was United Nations with pressure. You know, here to save hip hop from the United Nations album. That's why this simplex is so important to me the whole series. What if there was 10 simplexes on the shelf? Oh my God. We're getting there. I'm almost done with four right now. We play simplex one on Fahrenheit radio all the time and people all over around the world is hearing that for the first time. Cause the Fahrenheit- They really love, they really love the, the, 
part two and part three. Oh my god. Because Fahrenheit Radio is beyond what we've done in the rap game because of the iTunes and Window Connect. It's like people who are from countries I've never even heard of. Venezuela, I've heard of Venezuela, but I mean, like uh, J Japan, Russia, Poland, uh, Australia. A Australia, Africa. There, it's new people who are looking for to to d discover rap, and then they get Fahrenheit Radio, and then they hear you, and it's their first time hearing anything like this. And I've had feedback where they're like, "I've never heard anything like this." So. You, even maybe not as much in America, but worldwide, you finna change the game with Simplex. Simplex finna change the worldwide rap game. You heard it first on the fan. Ah. Ah. So out of New York, San Francisco, and Sac, which one you like the most? Probably Sacramento. Why? It's a toss up between the Bronx and Sacramento. So there's only two places I, I really uh learn anything from. Damn. The game, the, the, the music game taught me a lot. Like and what? Still learning. Like what? Uh, be careful who you uh, do business with. <laughs> That's Damn. one. one you already know. I do know. Who do I know? Damn, I know. But then I, we had uh, Cole 187 from Above the Law on the program before you, and he mentioned the same thing. Be careful what you, you dealing with, and he, you know, he was with major labels and all. And it's just it's proof that no matter what level you're at in this game, it's still all the same, and you gotta know what you're doing and watch what you're doing. You know, even from the independent level all the way up to the majors. You know, because everybody, when you like. For you, for example, people like when back when we were talking about love and music, that's and I was saying it's more than love. It's all kind of people that love music. And then there's all kind of people with money, old money, that want to uh come up on the music game, but they're not musicians. And there's nothing wrong with that. But the, the problem is, in order for them to come up in the music game, they gotta take advantage of the funk betas. And that's the problem. You know, if they just saw it as a partnership, you know, or the Cold 187s, if they saw it as a partnership then and made everyone happy, then it'd be different. Even with the yeah, Lynch, and, and Lynch and Black Market shit, and it's, it's, not, it's not black and white. It's, it's not like Kev is the good guy and Black Market's the bad guy. It's just, it's kind of a gray area, you know, but even if they would have just found a way to make it work, like Pitt said was paying and Kev was living up to his obligations and all that. It, that would, Sacramento would have been the like n number two or three rap hub in the world if that relationship Kev and said could have worked somehow. Yeah. That's true. Damn. That money makes people greedy. Damn it. Damn it. So, it is what it is. Only thing you can do is keep it moving. Damn. Like I said, I'm starting to get a lot of the love back in making music. Oh, and, really? You know, Why? Like when you ever get a minute, just go on my Reverb Nation or on my Facebook here. You'll see I put a link up on me and D, a beat that me and D Dub did. I did the beat and just did the hooks and see if we you know, make some money. Yeah, I definitely. But, um, I go on your reverb all the time. I'll definitely check that out. But we had we we did it the first time. We did it. I think it was like a couple of weeks ago. We made the beat and put it up. The second, the day to that, mm. that court. Mm. You know, like me, I just split the money with. Them. You know what I mean? Yeah. I think we got like five hundred for it. Yeah. Well, bam, thank you, man. Yeah. But the only th and that's good. Only thing I like about Funk Beta albums better is like you, you're 
you get credit for your genius. Because I'll even admit, me as first degree to DE, like I, I get credit, I get more credit than I deserve for funk beta genius. Like if I do a song on your on a funk beta beat, they'll be like, oh, genius, a DE, that's tight, and da da da. But they're not understanding that it started with the beat. So the reason I like when Funk Beta puts out his own music is because you get credit for your genius. You know? Some people recognize it, some people don't. But, you know. Yeah, you know John, Johnny Masses and Jane Public, they do not recognize it, how the importance of the beats. So they don't even... It's... it's they don't even... It's not even right they're just off the personality on the track the person you know and so it's time to re-educate Johnny Masses and Jane Public you know and who else gonna do that why not us uh. you know everybody they know who we are man why not us You got labels like Strange and the Whipty Whams and the Nippy Knots are so hungry for this money that they're chasing bottom of the barrel fan bases. And they're not like doing it for the to uplift the people and change the game. Like how you hear Funk Beta talking about the love of the game, like that for the people, urban people. So the game is getting watered down right now. Because so many people is interested, and that's cool. We like that a lot of people is liking rap, but we don't like how the purpose is changing. Oh, Jai and the Take Ascension the team, maze of the brain, from speaking for tones. So the overcore cards on the table Once a terrorist shown Then the level is known Don't look at my palms Who know I live long You don't need a horoscope To know the unknown You know something about Your mirror image They're active for too long It will pull you in Unison with fusion Conducive to conduit Zoom into the mutant Evolution of a nucleus Jai and the Ascension team, Maze of the Brain from the Deluxe the map, the Speaking game. Tones album. Sometimes we, you know, I know I'm funk bait over 20 years and it's, we work at it, We, you know, we, because it's a purpose bigger than us. It's about the game and our influence on the game. Purpose in the music. If you got 200,000 people listening to your music, why are you just talking about dumb shit? Is what sometimes I wonder with these MCs. You know? <laughs> you on the worldwide stage and you talking about popping mollies and shit that don't matter. Yeah. You remember Public Enemy? 
Yeah. It matters. What? That's key. Labor play. You know, Rakim is uh, has a concert here in Sac this summer. I'm there. Oh, you know I gotta go there. I it's am my there. After. You going? I've been a rock. I've been a rock. I'm gonna try. I didn't even know. I'm gonna try to go. Okay, it's in July. He's one of my favorite rappers in for years. Right. When the shit mattered, man. Yep, he was doing shit back then. When people doing now. Still ain't doing now. Oh. So, all right, I'm gonna hit you up for that That's next month. You know, shit that matters, shit that's gonna make a difference to people, inspire people. You know, I value people buy my music, but I even more value when people get stimulated off our message, the Fahrenheit movement, you know. When I hear you guys inspire me, that's <coughs> worth more than your ten dollars of buying an album. You know, because that's your mind and soul. You know, that's 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 your mind and soul that we touching. So it's important to be responsible for that. All right, well, you... And, uh, a, lot of people, a lot of people look up to us in our music. So we got to be very careful of what we say. That is so real. Because it affects lives. Good yeah, or bad, you know? Because sometimes... Start making on a good side. Yeah. Even, you, can even, you can have gangster raps and still make it on the good side. You know, That's true. Uh, affect somebody positively people are listening sometimes we think oh we're just doing it you know living our lives but then we'll hear get an email from brazil and they'll be like you know you guys please keep it up i need you in my lives and it's like damn it's, this is way bigger than us that's a lot of these artists don't know it's way bigger than And you can tell that that's true because the raps will be like, I am the greatest type raps. No. No, you're not the greatest. Stop rapping like that. Rap about something that matters. It's not pretend. Oh, man. You on a stage, 200,000 people listening to your message and you're talking about bullshit. And it, a lot. Yeah, and the worst part, the reason you see it a lot is because that's what the major labels invest in and they control fame. And it, you know, they they don't want the Bill Cosby type movements like the positive. They don't want the and they could they could press that. You know, they control fame. The bad they the bad thing is they promote ignorance. You got rappers like that. Damn it. Through the rap where you've been through and with how your neighborhood is, you gotta be very careful how you do it. You got a lot of motherfucking copycat. A lot of people are listening. And like we do what we do, and sometimes it takes 10 years for an album to crack. I remember when. Uh, some of my oh, like the some of my earlier albums dropped. It wasn't until like 10, 15 years later, I start getting emails from Africa and the motherland talking about, damn, I'm just getting Planet Zero or uh, Southbound at cracks. And this, I mean, this is decade uh, over 10 years later. Yeah. So sometimes it's not right away what we doing, but it's even more important because it's forever. And then what we leave the next generation is forever. And you're probably one of the, you're probably the only rapper who has a, a, a I don't think nobody's catalog is bigger than yours. Yeah. And I was, and I dawned on me, every track, every album you ever put on, put out, had a funk beta beat on. Since the very beginning. Since the beginning, that's what we were talking. 40 albums. 40 albums in the catalog. Some of them are just digital. It's probably about 25 physical CD albums like you can get in stores and maybe about 15 digital. But this there. And I, I don't even know if I'd have to quit the game if I couldn't get a funk beta beat 
on my rap album. I have to quit the game. I got you I got three funk beta beats on this new BE album I'm secretly working on. Maybe I wanna hear what you did to him. I'm still writing them. It's a secret. It's a secret album. I'm just taking my time. One of them I told you uh, I got my kids on. That one's called Black Bane. That was the first one you gave me. So we tried to do a video to that one. What are we gonna do for the Simplex video? I don't know, I'll leave that all to you. It's up to you. Okay. That is all up to you. I wanna do a story. I wanna do a story with some of you playing the keys, but a story. With you as the actor. Something that's real to you. That'll stim like everything we talk about. Something that'll stimulate people. Help them out through difficult situations. Because I'm dropping your album around the holidays. So it's going to be. And the reason I did that is just because it's like that warm time of the year. And that's what I, that's how I feel when I listen to Simple. It's like. It's like a, it's more than just an album. It's like when people want to feel a certain way. So that's why it's dropping in. Mm. That makes sense. Uh, all right. We've been on the Fahrenheit Hour. I've had my guests. You've got your mind stimulated by the Funkster. Le Funkster. Yeah. You got anything else you want to tell the people? Yep. Keep supporting and keep making them. Yeah, you know. For the record, I'm going to say it one more again. You have been listening to the greatest rap producer in the history of the game based on the fact he can do anything you can do with more soul, anything that anybody else did with more soul and switch genres. My name is First Degree to D.E. Beta, I'm a, if it's cool, I'm going to swing by in about 10 minutes. Okay, that's fine. And people, thank you for joining in. You are Fahrenheit just as much as we are. First Fahrenheit hour, we out. Fahrenheit hour, Fahrenheit hour. First to greet our days. Fahrenheit hour, Fahrenheit hour. First to greet our days. Fahrenheit hour, Fahrenheit hour. First to greet our days.